I'm gonna need a second. <laughs> Maybe a couple seconds. <laughs> yeah, this looks like wow. it's like a palate cleanser. I need like a cucumber. I ate the whole thing, so I'm like dying again. Mm -hmm. It's good to get in back there. Mm -hmm. Is there hot sauce in my neck? My tongue is burning. <laughs> Hi, I'm Ginny. I'm the operations manager overseeing internal relations, and I oversee recruitment, culture, and any big agency-wide meetings that we have. Hi, I'm Sarah Main, and I'm the operations manager of external communications. Hi, everyone. I'm, I'm Cherry. I'm the business development operations manager. Basically, I do all the projects that help us get new clients. Hi, I'm Olivia. Um, I'm the creative operations manager here at the agency, so that takes care of more of the business side of the creative department. Um, hopping on some art direction on clients, and also leading bigger projects like branding. Hi, my name is Ashley Sepulvers. I'm the operations manager of special projects, which means that I get to take all the new things that come across the agency's plate and build them out into something that we have forever. Hi, I'm Susie, and I'm the operations manager for finance. And today, much to my dismay, we will be eating some hot wings. Well, chicken nuggets. Yeah. But, you know, let's see what happens. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Sound effects. <laughs> well, you added a lot. lot. I know. <laughs> you were going Listen, Cherry and I are here to suffer. All right. That one was hot for me. Really? That already. Was so if that okay. tells you guys anything, that was a two. Mm -hmm. um. <laughs> I can smell it. Mm hmm. Tastes pretty good. It does taste good. I like the mm -hmm. lime. Yeah, the lime flavor is really good. So I actually came into the agency as a data analyst, uh, made my way up to lead analyst, and then co-research program manager with our very own Nicholas. And then um, when operations positions opened, I knew I was really excited about recruitment and culture, so I applied for the HR. At the time, it was called HR operations manager, and here we are mm -hmm. at this table eating chicken nuggets. It's starting to get to me a little bit. <laughs> uh, so I was hired as a project coordinator. Cherry, you were actually the first person I met after I got hired. For real? Yeah, because you were my shadow back in like May 2021. I don't remember that. <laughs> that hurts. It was a long time ago. <laughs> it was a long time ago. Mm -hmm. You have food in my teeth. So yeah, I was project ma project coordinator. Mm -hmm. Then I became a project manager. And then from there, I got to be the account supervisor for Giving Day, which was a really yep. fun campaign. Mm -hmm. And then I applied to Ops in what, March, I guess, 2022, March 2022? Yeah. yeah. I'll put more sauce this time. Oh. oh. <laughs> That's like drowning in the sauce. Good. This one's good, I like it. Mm -hmm. I think this one's good. It's like, like the it's lime really tortilla sticky. chips. That's what it tastes yeah. like. Yeah. Like, I feel like it's like giving Taco Bell like, the, like mild <laughs> hot sauce. Um, actually, an interesting story. I actually came uh, to UF as an industrial engineering major, um, and I was going to do a mass comm minor. So I was in Intro to PR with Dr. Justasso. She mentioned the agency. I followed the agency on Instagram, but I was like, eh, I'm an engineering major. Like, there's no way. Like, what, what would I do at the agency? And then I quickly, as most um, engineering freshmen realized, uh, engineering was not the path for me. So I switched over to the business school, and I'm doing marketing. Um, and I didn't want that mass comm minor anymore because I was like, meh. Everyone does a mass comm minor. But um, I kept the agency in my brain, and so I saw when they were recruiting in fall of 2020, and I applied because I wanted some experience, and I knew I wanted to apply for like the research and data analytics side of things because I knew that was important in marketing. So um, here I am. I'm like one of those annoying people who look up everything. So my fresh, like before I even came here my freshman year, I kind of knew what the agency was just by looking at the CJC website and such did my research <laughs> um, and yeah it was just something I was always interested in from then on and walking around the CJC you see the agency and it's just something I wanted to be a part of. This one's Cajun got a little donkey on it we go for a lot here just for fun I'm gonna regret that. <laughs> I'm scared two drops that was not enough <laughs> <laughs> like a palate cleanser I need like a cucumber I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm so excited for you too. <laughs> you feel it? Yeah, a little bit. Mm -hmm. It's like slowly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's good to get back there. Mm -hmm. Is there hot sauce in my neck? <laughs> no, no. I don't okay. You're good. Slowly starting to burn the tongue. <laughs> I 
culture is very collaborative and like everyone's definitely friends. Like every time I come into the office, people are like sitting at the table and like talking and like, I just think it's like a really fun environment. My favorite memory is the Disney pitch, mm -hmm. which we had like three weeks to work on this pitch for Disney advertising sales. <clears throat> and it was just really fun and by the end of the pitch, like they were like really happy with us. We were like super happy and excited. Now I realize I'm speaking really slow because I'm like dying. Uh, yeah, hang in there. <laughs> it was like really cute. Like right, right when we got off the Zoom, we were all like cheering in the room and then we took like a super cute Polaroid. Just like super great experience, tons of fun. All right, thank you so much for watching. And if you want to learn a little bit more about what we do, you can find us on socials with at the agency at UF. Bye. Bye.